going. Those spiral staircase made my head dizzy. Am I supposed to climb this? The path here is ridiculously hard. Now here comes the steep decline. Oh my goodness. Wow. Oh my god. This is like one of the most beautiful parks I've ever been to. <laughs> I'm lost again. There are so many doors like this that's shut and I can't open them. This is absolutely incredible. Oh. It's so amazing here. I mean, wow. Just look at the view from here. Like, oh, so, so beautiful. But this is so cool. First time riding a Ferris wheel in Europe. This area is just amazing. Like when you come to Barcelona, you have to come to the National Art Museum. I know time flies by so fast. Still I'm thinking of you. Do you remember still? Welcome to Favorware. My name is John. In this episode, I will take you to see some of the best things to do in Barcelona. I spent five nights in this wonderful city and I can't wait to show you what I had experienced. So are you ready? Let's go! There it is! La Sagrada Familia. Right now, La Sagrada Familia is still under construction. I read that this church is gonna finish in 2026. This church has been under construction for over 140 years. A little earlier, I was at the back. This is actually the front. Oh my goodness, the front, it's even more spectacular. Yeah, so right now, I'm right next to the entrance of the church and look at how detailed these sculptures are. Like every single one of these sculptures, they are carefully sculpted. Oh my goodness. This cathedral is... I was looking at the details. It's just like, it's a piece of art basically. You have to get close to the entrance to see how much work went into constructing this cathedral. Like no wonder after 100 years, this cathedral is not done yet. Even the gate of this church is carefully made. So amazing. Oh my God. This is extremely tall. I wasn't expecting the interior to be this tall. Oh my God. The sunset has illuminated the stained glass. I mean, look at that like the sunlight radiates through the glass and it creates all these patterns on the wall i've never been to a cathedral like this colorful before like over here it's blue but when i go when i turn my camera to this side the glass glows red so i also booked a tower i'm not too sure which tower this is but this is like the only last ticket that i found online so let's see how it goes up there okay here it is a lot of construction happening right now but you can definitely see some of the art that's been installed right there so here's the view from the tower. You get to see some of the high rise there of modern Barcelona. Yeah, just look how narrow the staircase are. You can only fit one person down here. Oh my God. Those spiral staircase made my head dizzy. I had to go around in that tiny ass spiral staircase for like five, six minutes non-stop. And when I got to the bottom, literally my head is spinning. So I've done exploring this beautiful La Sagrada Familia church. My final thoughts, this is an absolutely must visit when you visit Barcelona. This should be your number one thing. And it is the number one tourist attraction here in Barcelona. Well, it's for a reason because this church is just incredible. 
like the amount of artwork, the amount of work went into constructing this church. So when you come here, you will see it for yourself. I've never seen a church like this before. Okay, the bus has dropped me off at this Montserrat bus station. And now I'm gonna go over, catch some a train that takes me up to the mountaintop. Montserrat reminds me of Meteora from Greece so much, especially the mountains, so similar. They are so cool. I mean, the name for Montserrat actually means serrated mountains because of the shape. Okay, so here's the entrance into the monastery. This is so cool. Like each, there's so many sculptures of the saints at the top. I've counted, there are a total of 13 people. It's so extravagant, look how much work went into making the entrance of the basilica. Now I'm gonna walk to St. John, which is the second destination I'm going to at the Montserrat. The hike to St. John is a lot harder than I thought it would be. I'm really like breathing hard here. Yeah, look at the road behind me. That's how of a steep incline that I have to climb for the next 15 minutes. Okay, the view is getting better and better. That is kind of freaky. Whoa, am I supposed to climb this? Okay, I guess so, because the path here is ridiculously hard. But there's a rope right here that I can hold on to while I go up. I have to cancel my plan of going up to the summit because I have to be down at the parking lot by three o'clock and it's already like 2.20. I just won't have enough time to go up. You know, I don't want to be left stranded at this mountain. Now here comes the hard part of going back because it's harder to go back than it to go up. Now here comes the steep decline. I hike a lot and this is like one of the, I would say the moderate to difficult hike. Like there's a lot of steep incline and decline and the further up you go, it gets more dangerous. Just so you know, like when you decide to hike, make sure you're ready for it. Like bring some water, good hiking shoe for sure. There are like slippery rocks everywhere. So I'm just gonna say that the Montserrat is definitely worth visiting and it's highly recommended day trip for Barcelona. It's not even far, an hour away. And here you get to see like the most amazing view ever. So this is the entrance of Pagwe. Look at how interesting the buildings here are. The top is decorated with ceramics of different colors. The bottom is stones. Anthony Gaudi is the main architect for this design. Nice. I really like ceramics here at the entrance. Without a doubt, Pagwe is a major tourist attraction in Barcelona. I should download or get a map. I'm like so lost here. It's like a maze. I think I've walked like the same place at least a couple of times. On a side note, I really love the garden here. <laughs> I'm lost again. There are so many doors like this that's shut and I can't open them. <sighs> this place is like a maze, literally. You need, you have to get a map here. I really don't know where I'm going and there are so many gates that shut. Uh, well, finally, I found a gate that's open. Oh, Pagwe is actually a park with hills. There are many stairs at this park. So this is just not something that you can just walk here. So you physically need to do some hiking. I am at the highest point of Parkway and I don't think I can go any higher than this. There's really nothing to see here because the trees pretty much covered everything. At the three cross area, there's another viewing point. Oh cool, I like the columns here. 
Interesting. There is some kind of ceramic artwork on top of the ceiling. This is so cool. I spent a total of two hours at Pagui. My final thoughts, I really like this place. You do have to consider that you'll be doing a lot of like hiking up and down the hill, especially if you want to see Barcelona from above. So right now I'm heading over to Ciudad de uh, Park. Usually it's highly recommended that you go through the Arc of Trunfo, which is right behind me. It's this magnificent gateway with a lot of like cool designs. Where are these bubbles coming from? Whoa. Here are the guys who are making these bubbles. Oh my goodness. Wow. And also it's just very, very nice to walk to the park. I like the open space, the greenery. I see many kids and families here walking in this park. Like many of the locals here, they're just reading and chilling, enjoying a nice Sunday on the grass. There's a little lake in this park. Oh my god. This park is incredible. I'm like, wow. Seriously, like the fountain and look at the gold statue on top. It's so incredibly beautiful here. This is like one of the most beautiful parks I've ever been to. Like, this is amazingly good. Looking closely, the top is actually a golden chariot. This is the main reason I am at this park. It's because of this. This is like incredibly beautiful. Wow. So I'm going to this restaurant recommended by my taxi driver, which is very close to where I'm at right now. It's the Spanish tapa restaurant. She said a lot of good things about it and it's actually a very popular restaurant for locals. It's called La Flauta. So I'm gonna head over there right now. So let's go. Okay, I think I ordered a little too much sangria. I ordered half a liter. And also I ordered a shrimp tapa. And also a beef tapa. Okay, I also ordered some green peppers. This is very cheap, it's only $2.95. So let's try the green pepper first. Oh. It's full of flavor. I really like this. Mm. It's not spicy at all. Now let's try the sh shrimp. This one right here. Wow. Mm. The shrimp is so tasty, so fresh. Then so juicy. Alright, so let's try the beef. Yeah, I love the beef. I ordered a uh, codfish. The fish is extremely soft. Like, it cuts like butter. Wow. This is like the most amazing codfish ever. The fish is glazed with honey. And the fish is so fresh. It has this like sweet taste to it. Yeah, amazing. So here's my dessert. My churros and the bread pudding. So let's try the churros first. Let's try it. Mm. It's crunchy on the outside. But the inside is extremely soft. Nice. You have some of that sauce. Oh, you can smell it already. Mmm, smells so good. It tastes like milk. Mmm, milk, cream, sugar. It's a very sweet dessert. I love this. Okay, that was some good Spanish tapas at La Flauta. Um, I spent like 44 euros at the restaurant. I think I ordered like six or seven tapas with um, half a liter of sangria, which I didn't finish by the way, it's just too much. Very delicious food. Excited, I'm going to the amusement park. 
uh, first I need to take the funicular to go up there. Okay, the funicular is moving. That was a quick three minute funicular ride to the amusement park. Super excited. Wow, this is so cool. The moment you walked out of funicular, you are greeted with this church here. I think behind this brown church, there's another church. Once again, love the sculpture, the work went into making the entrance. Ooh, three heads. The altar is nice. The whole wall is painted with art. So now I'm going to the second church that's behind the first church. Wow, it's so tall. I saw this church at Pakwe, so that's why I'm here today. This church looks even more spectacular, like close. I believe the style, it's more of a gothic architecture. It's after 11 o'clock right now. The theories will have started spinning. I love the view from the church. You get to see the whole Barcelona from up here. I am on the top of the church. I took the lift up here. This is so cool. I also want to point out how calming and peaceful I am up here. It's so quiet. I can't even hear birds chirping. There's a spiral staircase there. And I love the design of the statues. This church is 541 meters above sea level. So I'm gonna climb this little spiral staircase up and see what's at the top. This is absolutely incredible. Oh. It's so amazing here. I mean, wow. Just look at the view from here. Like, oh, so, so beautiful. The absolute top of this church, the space here, it's actually super cramped. But you get to see the statue the closest. Okay, so I am done of the church tour. Now I am at the actual amusement park. The Ferris wheel looks fun, so I'm gonna do that first. So I'm on the Ferris wheel ride. I don't even remember the last time I was on a Ferris wheel. I think it must be more than a decade ago, something like that. But this is so cool. First time riding a Ferris wheel in Europe. This is so cool. After I'm done with this Ferris wheel, I'm gonna call it a day. So I'm just gonna say my final thoughts here at TV Double Amusement Park. This place is such a hidden gem in my opinion. There's something to do for everybody. You know, there's some um, rides, Ferris wheel, carousel. But if you're not into that, just go for a church tour where you get this, the best view in my opinion of Barcelona. Wow, sorry, I didn't even see this. But this looks like fun. I am outside El Fonet, it's this bakery shop. They have these croissants here, some sandwiches. More croissants and nice bakeries. Okay, so my breakfast is here. I ordered a latte, macchiato, and two croissants, chocolate croissants, and an apple something. I'm not too sure the name. Let's try the chocolate croissant first. I've had this before, and I love it. This is so good. One of the best croissants I've ever had. The pastry, extremely well cooked. You can taste the richness of the butter in this. And it's coated with chocolate and nuts. This is absolutely delicious. I love this croissant. Let's try this one. Hmm. It has a good bite to it. I do love the sourness of the apple. This is very good too. All right. So right now I'm heading over to the National Art Museum of Barcelona. This is such a big premise. Wow, just look at the entrance. It looks massive. This is definitely one of the biggest art museums I've ever been to. Wow, and look at the view from the museum. 
it goes all the way down there okay so here's the main entrance to the art museum okay i'm into renaissance art so let's go check this one out first and i like this painting from the 15th century i like that oil painting i like how most of the painting in this room is painted with some kind of gold leaf or gold paint and they're created with some gold frames it looks so extravagant so i guess this is also a great place to take wedding photography i finished my tour at the art museum um it was a quick 20 minute tour because i just skimmed through all the art i didn't really stay and observe the painting closely fountain here at the art museum is amazing the view from here is magical like look at the water the fountain and the backdrop of the art museum oh my god this is so cool this is like the best art museum that i've ever been to like i was just at the art museum not too long ago now i'm at the two Venetian towers this this massive area is huge this area is just amazing like when you come to Barcelona, you have to come to the National Art Museum. When you're done at the Art Museum, go explore the surrounding area because like everywhere in this place is a tourist attraction, you know? Highly recommended. If you enjoyed watching today's video, please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. I will see you in my next video.